Hello, welcome to the GIS Pathway. Today's tutorial is uh, going to cover the ArcMap interface. As you see here, I have ArcMap already open, and we'll get right into a brief overview of what some of these tools do here um, on this interface. As you look at the top here, um, you'll notice that you'll have your ArcMap uh, title, uh, obviously with ArcMap program, and Arc Info, which is the license level. You may have our Arc View, Arc Editor, or Arc Info. Arc Info being the highest level. Um, this enables you to have more capabilities, um, and you can see that some tools may be locked. As we look here on the, our first toolbar here, um, Basic um, Operations, have New Document, Open Print, um, Copy Cut, Paste, etc. You got your Undo, Redo. And then here, this is um, specific to ArcMap. We have a button called the Add Data button. And if we here click the button, we can add data to our map. This actually adds um, data directly to our data frame. The data frame here is called layers, and, and our country layer has been added. Uh, when we save this document, it does not save the data itself within the document. It saves mainly just the uh, file path link. If we look at the source button right here, down here at the bottom, this is called the table of contents, this window right here and we click source and see exactly where the file is located and the name of the file and basically ArcMap just stores these file paths so that uh, your storage capability um, is, is greater and you don't have as much um, space to be used up and you can save smaller files. We'll go back to our display here and as the check box uh, turns on and off the layer you can have multiple layers in here and turn multiple on. Uh, we also have here a scale. You can type in the map scale or you can select from a list. You can also customize this list as well. Um, the next one is an editor toolbar. This is to open up a toolbar that allows you to edit um, the layers. Uh, the next button over here is Art Catalog. Art Catalog is important to uh, the software. Uh, it is the, the basically the sister to uh, ArcMap. It uh, allows you to organize, rename, and move files. It's much better than using uh, the Explorer window as um, these files consist of five or six different individual files and um, renaming or moving all um, lump sum of all of them at one time can be difficult. Um, so this gives you the ability to um, be more efficient in your file management. The next uh, is Arc Toolbox, we'll open this real quick, and uh, this is a whole list of many different tools here within each toolbox. Some are available at different license levels, some you have to have an extension, uh, such as like 3D Analyst or uh, Network Analyst or Spatial Analyst. Uh, those are some extensions you have to have on top of that. The uh, next one is also very key, is the uh, Help, what is this button. I'm clicking this and clicking on a tool or an area give you a brief description of what it may do. Uh, from there, um, these basic tools here, this is on our toolbar here that's going up and down, uh, is important to know. We got zoom in, zoom out, stick, zoom in, stick, zoom out. I'm only zoom in on an area just for demonstration purposes here. And you can see that we can zoom into a particular area. Um, we have our pan button. This allows you to uh, pan uh, the map around. We've got full extent, which takes you back to the full extent of all your layers. And then we have a forward and uh, previous and uh, forward button here. And we can go to uh, the next extent. Uh, the next button is a select features. You can actually select um, individual features or multiple features. Um, and we can actually go to the next, well, another button down here is zoom to select the feature. So we can select the feature and zoom right to it. We have clear selected feature here, which is this little box. And um, nothing selected, you know, clear. And we'll go back to our previous extent. There's also switch selection. And then there is uh, select elements and identify. Identify is very key. It pulls the attributes. Let me give you the behind the scenes look at this layer. We see a visual feature, but there's also a, a database table behind it. You see here, it's kind of a little off the screen, but there's data behind each one of these. And when you select something on the screen, it's also selected here in this table. But we're going to identify uh, this little country. And it's selected. It's selected a few of them. Actually, uh, Ben and Togo 
So if I stick here, you can see it tear the highlights up on the map and gives you all the information based upon that. So the identify is very important. We got a find option that brings up a dialog to find based upon certain attributes. Add X, Y data uh, by typing it in. You can also measure. Uh, measure is very key if you want to measure distances. You can also measure uh, area as well. And then the hyperlink. Sometimes some attribute is actually a website or a link to a file on your computer or server, and you have the capability to jump right to that. And that is the basic overview of ArcMap. Um, you'll notice down here at the bottom there is a globe and a, a page. Uh, one is data view, which you usually work when you're um, editing the data itself. And then we got a layout view when we want to lay out a, a printable document. Um, when I refer to a data frame, you see the square box here, uh, turn to a square. And you can see you can move around this data frame. You can have multiple data frames um, by going to your insert button, uh, insert new data frame as well. We're going to uh, go through the insert button and insert a title. And we're just going to call it uh, Europe. And so uh, we have our title. We can also add other key features that is important as well, such as a north arrow. Uh, just pick a north arrow here. And that adds to the map. We can resize these and move them around. And then we can also insert a uh, scale bar. And you can edit the features or properties of these scale bars. Um, if you would like, um, I'm not going to do it for uh, for lack of time. And just like that, we have created a basic document. You can edit with colors, fonts, and do it much more than what I just did here. And then you also have a refresh button. Sometimes you need to refresh the map. Uh, and when we go back to data view, you see it just goes to the data frame. It does not have those extra page layouts that, such as title or map. Uh, uh, scale bar or north arrow. Now, some people get them kind of mixed up. They'll work in one and, and forget that they're in a certain view. And that's key to know these two. But uh, that is about it for the overview of the interfaces. This is just barely scratching the surface, and so there's so much more. And if you'd like to find out more information on GIS and ArcMap, uh, visit my website at gispathway.com. Thanks for watching.